Well, listeners, and of course, those of you who are watching live, I am so excited because I've got Jessica Harrington here, and she is from Journey to Yourself, but she also has a podcast, and we're going to talk about stress because, you know, sometimes we just have these perception of stress that might be correct, might not, but also just some strategies on how we can better manage the stress in our life. So Jessica, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here. So before we get in talking about stress, what made you decide to start your company, but also your podcast? Yeah, of course. So I started my company after working in the drug and alcohol field. So I started at working at a rehab and wanted to be on the prevention side of things. So I went back to school, got my master's in public health, and then started my business. And then for the... <laughs> And then for the podcast, I, um, I, I don't even remember what it was. I decided just to do it one day and it started with me just recording on my phone and then it kind of just took off after that. So, yeah. Wow. And of course, as you're talking, I'm looking behind you and you have like breathe. <laughs> like sometimes that's what we need to do is we need to just breathe. Yeah. So what are, I guess, some of the perceptions we have about stress that maybe we need to let go of because everybody's, well, there's good stress, there's bad stress, but what are really some of the things and the, the myths that we need to just like, we need to leave them behind? Yeah, of course, of course. So yes, there is good and bad stress for sure, right? But what I feel like a lot of us need to understand is that we are more in control of our stress and how we receive it than we believe. A lot of times when I teach, a lot of them go, stress is not having control. So my go job is to teach you that you do have more control and you are able to change your perception on things and you are able to, you know, adapt to new things, right? And so it's having an understanding of that. And I always love to point out is that the first reaction to stress is your physical response the eye twitching, the migraines, the psoriasis, the stomach aches, et cetera, et cetera. But we always ignore them. And that's when, right? I always, my knee always bothers me. It's fine. I'll keep walking. So we always ignore these signs. And so again, my job is to create that awareness on how you react compared to how I react. And, you know, and I'm glad you mentioned that because earlier, you know, this week, I wasn't like feeling like my normal energetic self. And before Jessica, I would have just kept moving forward, doing everything. And I said, you know what? At this time, I'm going to stop. I'm going to get me something to eat. And I'm just going to rest for the rest of the day. And I did that mm -hmm. for a couple of days and I feel better. And you're right. Sometimes we feel those aches, pains, and it could be a lot of different things going on. And I have been juggling a lot of stuff, but now I realize, you know what, Jan, slow down. Because if you don't slow down now, it's going to be worse. You're going to be in a bed for not just a couple of days, but maybe a week. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you mentioned that. So what are some strategies we can use, you know, women can use to really help them better manage that stress? Yeah, of course. I also want to point out, you made me think of something. So you mind if I go back for two seconds? Sure. That sometimes when we look at stress, we think it's always at this high chaotic part. And it's just me pulling out my hair when there's actually a lot of different levels to stress. So you made me think of that when the way you're describing one, yes, you need to relax. Yes, it is a little bit. It's not just all of it. Right. So I do want to point out that. So in the sense of starting to take care of yourself, I always say, um, if I took all the bills, your children are taking care of, husbands taking care of, dogs, family, work's done, and I gave you five minutes just to do whatever the heck you wanted, what would you do? And a lot of times, right? And a lot of times when I ask that question, we don't know. Because we're so consumed on that to-do, especially as women, we're going, okay, well, now I got done work. Now I have to go let the dog out. Now I walk the dog. Now I go switch the laundry. Why I'm switching the laundry, I'm going to call this person because they're been going through a lot of stuff. So I have to make sure I check in on this person as I'm like making dinner. And we're doing all these things, but we're not checking in on ourselves. So I always say, if I took it all away and gave you five minutes to do whatever the heck you want, what would you do? Right? Mm -hmm. And knowing how important that five minutes a day really is. And so the way I try to make it a picture of it is drink the coffee while it's hot right? Just sit with it. Just mm. sit with that darn cup of coffee and then move on. Yeah, that is so powerful because a lot of times what we do is we let, whether it's coffee, whether it's tea, it could be iced tea and the, 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 the um, ice has just melted. So you're right. Wow. Taking the time. Okay. All Taking right. Time. Making you a priority. You know, when's the last time that happened? Mm. Mm. 
Wow. And you know, it's so interesting because so many people think that when you think about stress and managing stress, that you've got to plan a vacation or a retreat on a weekend, but they don't realize it's something you need to do every single day. And it's like, it, like you said, five minutes, just, just wait, just drink the coffee when it's hot. I love that. I love that. Yes, exactly. It's every day. Vacations are great. Massages are amazing. Getting your hair done. Amazing. Listen, I'm all about it. I'm not saying I don't do that for sure. But then how many times we get done and we're like, oh, I'm, I'm back to being stressed. I'm back to being stressed. That was a quick 10 minutes. I feel better now, but now I'm stressed again. Right? So well, how are you doing it every day? And you know, it was interesting when you said that, because one of the things I found out from the woman I get seen on my facials from is that a lot of times when women are finished their facial, which she does the facial and she massages your shoulders as well, they're rushing to that appointment. And she was like, Janet, you're taking your time. I said, because this time right now is valuable to me. I don't want to lose this by going back and rushing into something else. So I give myself some time. So you're right. And it's like, we're rushing, but also something else you said, Jessica, is all the things we do. And I don't think sometimes we realize we are, you know, we're parents, but we're also a spouse or partner. We're also taking care of the dog. We're taking care of this person. Ever, ever. And it's like, and you're right. It's like, and then you're like, and like you said, you're picking up the phone, trying to figure out, okay, I need to check on this person to see how they're doing. But what are you doing? Wow. That was powerful. That was so powerful. Oh my goodness. So in all that you do for the people that you serve, how do you stay organized? Or just what are some of the things you do just to kind of manage your stress? And of course, breathe. Yeah. So a couple things. So managing stress and I feel being organized really go hand in hand. So for staying organized, I'm really a believer on writing things down. That makes the most sense to me. So especially when it comes to to-do lists, right? We all have them. We just named a thousand things we have to do. But with mine, I only write it on an index card. <laughs> so if you think about that, if I can only fit it on here, I'm only making the priority. So every day, what do I have to get done today? What do I have to get done today? Not it, not oh, all these things I have to do. What do I have to get done today? And the way I try to paint this picture is very much so of we're going to redo a bathroom. Say we're redoing a bathroom, right? If I would write down my list, okay, so I have to clean it up. I have to organize. I have to get rid of things. I have to make a budget. I have to, right? You do all these things. You can't do all that in one day. It's not realistic. But if I wrote all of that down on this one card today, that's overwhelming. That's overwhelming. And it's not organized, right? Because it's just a big list, right? So you can make the big list. And I, I, I tell people you can do that, but take it apart, right? So I don't know if you, um, so President Eisenhower, have you ever heard of the Eisenhower box? Um, no, I never heard of it. I don't think I've heard of the Eisenhower box. No. It's in the jar with the rocks, but I've never heard of the <laughs> Eisenhower box. Yeah, yeah. So Eisenhower, basically President Eisenhower was really known for a delegation, right? So he has a box that's important, not important, urgent, not important, uh, urgent, right? And you fill it all out. I've used the same box, but in the sense of, sections of my life. So it's me because me is always on there. That ha What do I do? What's the one thing I'm doing for myself today in my business? What are the things I have to get done in my business today? And then at home, because that's something that's sacred to me, like that's important to me. What are the things I have to get done for my home? And then what are the, out of all the boxes, if I could do everything in this, all these boxes, what are the things I absolutely, no matter what have to get done today? So it's just like, tr like you said, trying to stay organized, but it's very much prioritizing that helps i think with both the stress and the organization mm, that is that is so wonderful just the way you shared it because when you said the index card i remember a friend she said so janet you don't have 30 items on your to-do list every day i'm thinking that's why you have 30 days in every month yeah. just to put one she's like wow so thank you so much i love that the index card yeah. so jessica how can people connect with you and also listen to your podcast yeah, of course. So my podcast is called Stress Less with me, Jess. Um, and on there, I basically interview other business owners and entrepreneurs, talk about what they do. Because, is, you know, like you say, you know, all of us are trying to relieve someone's stress, right? We're all trying to help somebody somehow in some way. So what is it that you do? And then I have my next segment. It's just talking about what stress is in their life. Kind of like the very question you just asked me, right? How are you staying organized? What is stress like in your life? How, what's a tip you can help other people, right? We all need these kind of information. 
And then um, staying connected with me, I always say the podcast is definitely the best way or my website has all my contact, all the social media information, journeytoyourself.net. And of course, listeners and also those of you watching, there is a link in the description below that will take you directly to Jessica and you can you find out more about how you can work with her, but also listen to her website as well. So Jessica, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.